What's wrong, little kitty? Kitty's tooth gone! Ah, no need to panic. Losing teeth is perfectly normal at your age. But maybe Kitty swallowed it in sleep. Yikes! That would make anyone tense. Well then, let's find out what really happens if you swallow a tooth. Zoom in! Imagine you're having a sandwich and then you feel something hard. Uh-oh! A quick check with your tongue. And oh no! Your food just came out. But before you can even fish it out, you accidentally swallow it. Now, should you panic? To know that, let's break down what really happens when a tooth takes the scenic route through your digestive system. As soon as you swallow a tooth, it's carried down your esophagus, the muscular tube that connects your mouth to your stomach along with saliva and any liquid or food present. Saliva acts as a natural lubricant, helping the tooth slide down more easily. And since teeth are hard, made mostly of enamel and dentin, they won't dissolve in saliva. So the tooth remains intact as it begins its journey. Most swallowed teeth are small enough to pass through the esophagus without getting stuck. However, if the tooth has sharp edges like a broken molar, it could scratch the throat or esophageal lining, which might cause mild discomfort. Once your tooth lands in the stomach, it meets gastric acid, a potent brew of hydrochloric acid with a pH around 1 or 2. This stuff can dissolve meat, bread and even metal over time. But enamel? It's one of the hardest substances in your body, harder than bone and made mostly of crystalline calcium phosphate, hydroxy apatite. That means the tooth will remain almost completely unchanged, just enjoying a quick acid bath. From there, the tooth moves into the small intestine. This is where digestion really happens. Enzymes and bile break down proteins, fats and carbs. But since the tooth is inorganic, it just keeps on trucking, propelled by peristalsis, those wave-like muscle contractions that keep your digestive system moving. Next stop, the large intestine. Your water gets absorbed and waste is compacted. After a day or two, the tooth will make its grand exit in your stool, looking pretty much the same as it went in. For most people, that's the end of the story. No harm done. However, there are a few rare risks worth knowing. And what are they? In some cases, a tooth might cause choking if it gets lodged in the throat before reaching the esophagus. A tooth with sharp or jagged edges could also lead to internal injury by scratching or puncturing parts of the digestive tract. And in rare cases, an unusually large or oddly shaped tooth can cause a gastrointestinal blockage, which may result in pain, vomiting or constipation. If something like that happens, doctors can use an endoscope, a thin flexible tube with a camera to find and remove the tooth before it causes trouble. But mostly, if you swallow a tooth and you're breathing normally, you don't need to rush into surgery. A glass of water can help move things along. But if you have severe pain, vomiting, blood in your stool, or trouble breathing, it's time to get medical help fast. So yes, losing and swallowing a tooth might sound dramatic, but in most cases, it's no more dangerous than accidentally gulping down a cherry pit. 
trivia time. Did you know your teeth have a one of a kind shape and arrangement? Yes, no two people, not even identical twins, have the same dental pattern. Sketching time. Today's sketch of the day goes to Clara. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Well, Kitty, since you feel fine, there's no need to worry. But what will Kitty give the tooth fairy now? Kitty just swallowed a payment. Well, never mind. <laughs>